Welcome to today's lesson, which is going to discuss organelles that, de that build proteins. Many of you have discussed these three organelles before um, in lower level classes. Ribosomes, the endoplasmic reticulum, both rough and smooth, and then also the Golgi apparatus. We are going to take a look at what the structure and function of each of these are, what they look like, and then exactly how do they work together to build those proteins. So let's start with the ribosomes. First of all, when you look at a cell and you see a, um, see a diagram of a cell, for the most part, your ribosomes are just going to look like small dots. They're extremely small, okay, um, but they are important because they have two parts to them that help put proteins together. So they take those amino acids, the monomers of proteins, and they link them together to make the polymer. Okay, to make those protein chains. So the ribosomes put the amino acids together into chains. Ribosomes have two different ways that they can be located within the cell. First of all, you can find them just floating around in the cytoplasm. And second, you could also find them attached to the um, endoplasmic reticulum. If they're attached to the endoplasmic reticulum, you'll, um, it'll be called rough endoplasmic reticulum versus smooth. Okay. Um, so ribosomes are really important because they help put those amino acids together into, um, into the protein chains. The second structure is our endoplasmic reticulum. Now the endoplasmic reticulum a lot of times is abbreviated ER. So I may refer to it as the ER um, and that's what I'm talking about is the endoplasmic reticulum. Now these, the endoplasmic reticulum actually helps to assemble the proteins. The ribosome takes them and puts them into chains, but the protein isn't finished at this point. So what we have to do is we have to take it and fold it and shape it into the correct way for it to actually function correctly. So the endoplasmic reticulum takes and does that. Now you're going to notice two different parts of um, endoplasmic reticulum within the cell. Some of them will have ribosomes attached and some of them will not. It's called smooth ER if it has uh, no ribosomes attached to it. And then it's called rough ER if it does have ribosomes attached to it. Now, when you look at it in the cell, what it's going to look like is this maze of flat membranes. So you're going to see all these flat membranes, but then you're going to see these maze-like structures that connect them. And I'll show you a picture of that in just a minute. So we have ribosomes, then the endoplasmic reticulum, and finally we have the Golgi apparatus. And the Golgi, Golgi apparatus takes and helps to package the proteins and any other substances that need to um, either be kept within the cell somewhere um, just until they're needed or if they need to leave the cell and get packaged to be able to be sent out of the cell. So the Golgi apparatus does that. It's kind of like the FedEx of the cell. They're going to package, they're going to send it out. It can also take and modify some of these things. For instance, proteins. Uh, one of the things we're going to talk about when we get to cell membranes is that some of the proteins have carbohydrates attached to them or have different structures to them. So the Golgi apparatus can actually take and add those pieces after the fact, kind of like an aftermarket to your car. So they're going to modify some of these things. They're going to package and ship them. And then if you look at the Golgi apparatus within a picture of the cell, what you're going to see is these flat membranes. Okay? Gonna look, it's going to look much like the endoplasmic reticulum, only you're not going to see these maze-like structures that connect them. Okay? So let's take a look at the whole picture. First of all, we have our cell here. This is our nucleus. Okay? So we have our nucleus, and kind of near our nucleus is where our endoplasmic reticulum is. And so in green here, you can see our endoplasmic reticulum. And it has these maze-like structures that are connecting it. Okay? So this is going to be our endoplasmic reticulum. In pink here, I have the ribosomes. And for most of them, I've just left them as little dots. Um, but I have shown a two, uh, two structures kind of linked together because that's um, what the ribosomes are, two structures linked together. These Little pieces coming out of them are proteins. Um, so the black pieces here are proteins. You're going to see a protein follow its way throughout the cell. And then down here we have the purple, purple Golgi apparatus. Okay. So, and then finally we have the cell membrane down here in um, a bluish teal color. So what happens is first of all, 
the ribosomes take the proteins and just make the strands of protein. So long chains of, of amino acids to make the strand of proteins. The proteins then have to be changed in the endoplasmic reticulum is where they get folded into the correct shape. So you'll notice here we have just the strand of, um, strand of protein, but then later at this point it's all folded up. Okay. Now we've already talked about vacuoles. And so what happens is the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum can actually form a vacuole. And so this vacuole kind of pinches off, it breaks off, and it's storing this protein that's then getting shipped to the Golgi apparatus. The vacuole attaches itself to the Golgi apparatus membrane. Inside the Golgi apparatus, that protein gets modified a little bit. And you'll notice here I have a few little um, carbohydrate chains attached to this protein. So we have some carbohydrate chains attached to the protein. It's now been modified and packaged for export. And now we're ready to either A, store it for later use within the cell, or it can be exported. The vacuole will attach itself to the cell membrane. The cell membrane will release that protein out into your body to be used wherever it needs to be used. Okay, so the flow through the um, building of a protein. They start at the ribosomes. They end up in the endoplasmic reticulum to get folded up. They get packaged and modified in the endoplasmic reticulum and then they get sent to wherever it is that they're going to be needed.